In this video, I will be showing you how to use the program called PeakFQ. This program is a flood frequency analysis program, and it uses data provided by USGS. This site I'm on right now is where you can download the program. It's absolutely free, and the version you want to download is the most recent one, version 7.1. 7.1 can work on operating systems Windows 7 and 8, and you download it just by clicking this right here. I've already downloaded it, but uh, the process is pretty simple. Once we've downloaded the program, we need to get the data that we're going to be inputting into the program. We do this by finding the stream gauge that we want to evaluate. Uh, on this site, you, you can see all the stream gauges across the nation, and I will try to find the ones that we will be evaluating. This is the right one at Buckeye. Uh, just by clicking these nodes, uh, it gives you the site number, which you can type into the left, or you can also just go ahead and click Access Data. That's what I'm going to do. These stream gauges provide a lot of information, but what we're looking for to put into our program Peak FQ is the peak stream flows. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now the program works off text format, so what we want to do is click on PeakFQ Watt Store Format to get into text form. Now once we're on this page, we just need to right click, hit Save As. I'm going to save it as simple, something simple. I'm just going to give it the name and uh, Peak Flow. Now I'm going to save it to the desktop for easy access. should be there. Now as I said I've already downloaded the program so I'm just going to open it up. Once it is open hit file open and this is the desktop file so I'm going to click on what I saved it as Buckeye Peak Flow and it should generate something that looks like this. Now a few options for the program we can uh, choose what format we want the graph to come out as. I'm just going to pick JPEG. And also the confidence intervals. The confidence interval just uh, gives a, a range of how high you want the flow rate provided to be. So the higher confidence interval, uh, the higher the flow rate is going to be to ensure that that flow rate is not exceeded. So I'm just going to put in 0.95 and go ahead and hit run PKFQ. Uh, now go over to Output File, hit View, and you'll see a whole bunch of information. Uh, you'll see what we're looking for is the annual exceedance probability. So all these numbers are the percent chance of them, them occurring. And uh, let's just say this 0.01 right here is actually a 100-year storm. It has a 1% chance of occurring. And the numbers that we're looking for, the 95% confidence intervals, all the way here to the right, in between the 51,000 and the 71,000. Also, what PeakFQ provides is a graph of these numbers. And in this new version, this graph uh, can actually analyze where your cursor is at. So if the point isn't exactly, if one of these points isn't exactly what you're looking for, you can zoom in and then go right over your annual exceedance probability of what you're looking for. And up in the upper left corner of the screen, beside File, Edit, View, Analysis, is uh, the annual exceedance probability along with the corresponding flow rate. So in this instance, it's 0.5% uh, annual exceedance probability and with a flow rate of 67,884 cubic feet per second. 
And also, you can do a few things with this graph. Uh, just like, just like in Excel, you can change the curve, uh, the curve color, uh, some things to do with the lines, and make it a little uh, better looking. However, you want to make it look. And that is the program PeakFQ. Thank you.